It's your girl Lakita back with another makeup tutorial and I am starting off my Christmas season looks, my holiday looks with this mint green look and so if you want to know how I achieved this look just continue to watch. Okay beauties as always I am going to start off by priming my eyelids with the concealer and this time I'm using the Lorac concealer. So I'm going to place that all over my eyelid and I'm going to gently blend that out with my fingertips. Now going into my 35C, my Morphe 35C palette, because God knows, y'all know how I love my Morphe 35C palette. I am using the warmest brown in there to just warm up my crease for this look. So that's what you see me doing right now. So you just want to blend that into your crease, drag it over to the bridge of your nose. And just drag it to your outer V as well to give it a more rounded look. So you just want to continue just to build up this color till you get it to the warmth that you require for this look. Now just going into my Morphe 35C palette still, I'm going to use like a grass, like a grass grain, um, I like to call it. So I want to put that also inside of my crease to use as a transition color for this look. So you want to buff that in, blend it well. Now back into that same palette, um, Morphe 35C, I'm taking a deeper um, green, that money green honey. And I'm putting that on the outer V and I'm just dragging and blending that over into my crease as well. And I'm doing that with a smaller blending brush by BH Cosmetics. All the brushes that I use and all of the products that I use will be listed in the description below. So just check that out. So now I'm just going to continue bent on I love. What was the hell was I trying to say, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to continue with that same color. Now I'm dragging it to my inner corner. Take your time and blend a lot of the video um the footage that i do I, I just cut it out because it's more of me just blending 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 to make sure all of the colors come together because not all the time do i want to do a cut crease i really love beauty blended looks so that's what you'll see me doing a lot of on my channel Going back into the outer V, I'm taking a deeper um, green, it's like a hunter's green, and I'm just putting that in my outer V. I'm gently blending that um, to give my eyes a little bit of shape before I start on my actual lid. So now um, I have this Coastal Scents palette um, that's my I think my little sister got me this palette, but uh, I rarely use it, so I am really trying to make good use of all of the palettes that I have, old, new, um, future, you know, whatever I have. I'm just trying to make really good use of it. So it had this really pretty mint green in there, so that's what you see me using. I'm just putting that on the middle part of my lid, and yeah, I'm just going to keep blending that color up until I get it to the consistency and the vibrancy, I should say, that I like. So now I'm going back to my, on the outer edges of this look and I'm just adding more warmth to it and that means I'm adding more browns because I can't do a look without my brown. I just like warmer looks, you know? going to continue to, to blend that all in until it becomes seamless and just keep blending 
blending and blending and blending until you get it to the consistency that you want. Now, of course, I need to hide these bags, honey, before we start on the actual face. So I am using the NYX color corrector and the color orange to neutralize those dark circles. And using my, I believe that's one of my BB foundation brushes. I am using the MAC Longwear Foundation and the NC40. And I am going to blend that all over my face. And that has been done with the foundation brush. And any cleanup that you need to do and to shape your eye look, you can do this at this time when you're using your, um, placing down your foundation. Or you can wait till you do your concealer. because y'all seen me do foundation countless times. So I'm just basically doing the same thing over and over and over again. of my forehead and down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. So using the Tyra Banks, um, or the Tyra Beauty, I should say, contour and a stick in the color deep, I am going to contour my cheeks and all of that stuff. And girl, please excuse me because I need an edge real bad. I was supposed to be getting my edge, but um, Sean, you know how you just get busy, child. But that was done later in the day, so. wish I knew how to do I wish I really knew how to edge myself you know you see so many guys can cut their own hair and edge themselves you know what I'm gonna figure it out so using a damp beauty blender I am blending in all of the concealer that I put down and I'm also going to use that same beauty blender to blend out my contour Go ahead and you do your blending um, with your cream and your liquid um, products because it just makes it easier. Had I set my set my face with my powder and then went back over it to contour it like with the contour and the stick, it would have looked cakey, plumped up. It would not have blended well at all. So you always want to remember that. Just make sure whenever you're using cream products and liquid products, you blend them um, at the same time and then set your face. So now my infamous, honey, my infamous Ruby Kisses liquid liner, blacker than black, honey. That's what you're going to be using right now.
my time, as always. Girl, I'll never be in a rush. But you know how you already have, like, if you were in a rush, a beat already that you consistently go to? So I always, I always have a beat I can consistently go to if somebody ever. Be like, hurry up, girl. It's time for Okay. No problem. I got that down, okay? So I'm doing the same thing over on this eye using the Ruby Kisses um, liquid eyeliner black. Of it. Black. I am now going to use, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but it's Douce. It's either Douce or Douche. I'm going to figure it out, okay? But I'm using that eyeliner to um, line my waterline, which I rarely line my waterline like um, on a daily basis. So it like <laughs> took me so bad, okay? So very bad. the same thing that I did on the top um, of my eyelid I am going now underneath and I'm just doing it a little bit I don't ever really like to go heavy on my bottom um, on the bottom eye I just don't I just it's just not me honey it's not me okay I mean I, I can but I don't I do cream contouring I always go over it with powder contour um, that way I set my face in um, sections so now we're gonna move on along and I am going to right now I'm using the SYL lip liner and deep purple just to line my lips yeah girl I wouldn't put on my Diana Ross hair okay Please know that. I always have me some Diana Ross here somewhere. I love big hair. I love sleek hair too. I love all hair, okay? I just love all hair. That's why I have so many wigs because I just love hair. So I'm just filling in my lips with that lip liner and then I'm going over it. I have this lip palette that I got from um, the hair show in Atlanta. I'm not sure really because it doesn't really have a name on it like a brand name so it's just a, like a generic palette I guess and that's what I'm using I'm using like a pink and red and I'm using like three different colors out of that palette and I'm using a lip brush to paint my lips honey and now I'm using it's a I don't know if this is the global um, highlighter from MAC um, but it'll be in the description, so either here nor there, it is in the description, okay? I'm sorry if y'all hear a child laughing, that's my youngest, who's laughing really hard because something is really funny to him. But this is the finished look, and it's just the start of my holiday season. I love green, I love mint green, I love it all, it goes so well with a lot of different things. So I hope you love this look, if you do like this look, do not forget to hit the like button and hit that subscribe button so you are notified of my other videos that I do on release. So yes, Hante. So as always, do not forget to aspire to inspire someone every single day.